All right. Uh, looks like we're ready for our next run slash showcase of Pump It Up by Zelu. Uh, take it away. Thank you very much, Brooke. Hi, everyone. I'm Zelo, Zello, however you want to say it. Never matters to me. This is going to be a nice, fun little showcase of Pump It Up XX 20th Anniversary Edition. Pump It Up, for those of you not familiar, is a giant dancing game, as you can see with the giant cabinet and the pads I'm stamping on. Uh, it was made in 1999 by Andamiro as a kind of competitor to DDR at the time, and it's kind of evolved into its fun little niche. Uh, with me, I have two wonderful commentators. If you want to introduce yourselves real quick. Uh, hi, I'm Harukaze. I'm playing this game too. I will be one of your hosts. Hi, everyone. I'm V Kim. Um, I'm a former developer of Pump It Infinity alongside my Team Infinity colleagues slash Pump It Up parents here, Zelo and Harukaze. I'm happy to be commentating in this block for a great cause. Thank you very much, guys. So I just want to say a few things before we start. Um, the big serious one is that we did lose a very dear friend in the Pump It Up community a couple weeks ago very suddenly. And he was a huge supporter of trans rights. He loved everyone. So this showcase will be dedicated to, in memory of our friend Pedro Santos. So we'll have some fun for him. Uh, anyways, thank you everyone who donated to get this into the marathon because I know bonus games are sometimes a little difficult to meet. But we do have one other incentive for this. We have a boss chart bid war at the very end. The very last song, you can pick from one of three songs, Vacuum Cleaner, 1950, or Error Code Zero. And you can donate for which one I will suffer on at the very end because all of them are really hard. <laughs> But anyways, I will go ahead and get started here. Haru and Vincent will cover pretty much all the commentary while I mute, and y'all have some fun, so let's go ahead and get started. I guess we'll talk about the songs a bit later, so for now you can choose just by the name, whatever you like more. Now as Zero is starting, let's explain the basic gameplay just for a bit. The idea is pretty simple. You have a platform, you step on it, and you have a screen. On the screen you will see shapes coming typically from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen, and at the top of the screen there is an area, we call it step zone. When the shapes, usually arrows, reach the step zone, you have to press a panel on the platform. That's a pretty simple idea, I guess. Yep, it's uh, pretty much like, as uh, Zelo mentioned, it's basically like a direct competitor to Konami's Dance Dance Revolution. Speaking of, this is a great first song to start out. Um, if uh, anyone recognizes Jamie and Meaty D, um, they're the producers of Smile DK. And uh, uh, Socks is the feature singer of Pop the Track. Um, also, the singer, uh, one of the main singers for Smile DK. Yeah, and Zelo picked this song with a hidden purpose on in his mind, because Jamie is actually a trans composer, and she is really great. Totally recommend her music. Yes, wholeheartedly agree. This is uh, so. If you notice at the, uh, before the song, uh, there are uh, circles in which you see some numbers. The number indicates the difficulty. Uh, this. Chart uh, Zero is playing is level 16. Uh, the scale in Pump It Up goes from 1 to 26 on singles. Uh, single is playing just on one side of, of, of the platform, like Zero does right now. And uh, if you use both sides of the platform, which is called doubles, the scale goes from 1 to 28. Uh, uh, by the way, the difficulties for the Beat War are 27, so it's just one level. Be uh, below the hardest difficulty in the game. That's pretty difficult. Uh, it sure so 16 is. 16 is pretty much in the middle of the scale. Uh, it's a good range uh, when you consider to be a dedicated player. And from here on, things start to get more and more difficult. Like, much more difficult than be before this. Oh, for sure. I'll just touch up on like the singles and doubles, like to go back on the circles, um, to explain the colors of the circles, like you see here, it's like a red orange, that's singles, uh, green is doubles. There are some other colors, like I think yellow is co-op, and uh, purple and blue are performance charts. Uh, those are meant to be freestyled. I don't think those are going to be shown today, but you no, know, just for... No, they're not going to be shown. They're usually just uh, for fun, having the final sh showing off or doing some weird stuff. Uh, Zillow's right. going to just play the game normally, we call it speed, 
as opposed to freestyling when you dance to the music and not just press the arrows. So right. this game can be played visually when you uh, aim looking at the screen. It also can be played with your ears when you aim more listening to the music but still looking at the screen. It all depends on your abilities. This game is uh, available pretty much to anyone to play. You can do different things, you can try different songs. The tracklist is very huge. It's about, what, 500 songs by now? There are a lot of genre, a lot of uh, composers from different countries, so I think anyone can find something they like. Uh, meanwhile, me Zillow is playing oh. a song from Japanese composer located in a folder, J Music. And as far as I remember, this is a Toho remix? Yes, this is a Toho remix. It's a remix of uh, Invisible Full Moon from the Toho series. There is just a bit of Toho in Pump It Up. Usually remixes. Yeah, I mean, what's a rhythm game nowadays without <laughs> Bad Apple, right? <laughs> Every well, game's got to have that. this song won against Bad Apple when Dilo was speaking at track list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get to listen to some less known remixes, I guess. I don't think this song is in any other it game aside from Six Star, which is made by one of the right. ex, uh, uh, background designers from Pump It Up. Right. As you may notice, uh, while Zillow is looking at the arrows, there is also a background video. Uh, some videos in Pump It Up are really bright and animated, some are just generic, but Pump It Up is known for uh, being attractive and uh, using uh, different videos for almost every song. It's one of its uh, seven points for the arcade. It's bright. You can also see the it's machine. Definitely very there, bright. there are a lot of shiny lights. Our machine is uh, is not even like the biggest and the brightest. Level it's 17. previous model of the game. What you may find in round one arcade right now is much bigger version of this. Not good for home use though. It's bulky. Right. I think you uh, you have a pretty good. Uh... Cab, and then that's the CX cab design. That's a pretty popular modern cab. It's a very popular choice too. Very high in demand. I think these are those are very hard to find. Yeah, out. it's also pretty pretty rare because it comes straight from Japan, even though the game is made in in Korea. In Korea, of course. And we got a little bit of a hard style going on here with Awakening. There's a commentary uh, in, in chat. Pump does cause a conflict in my brain. I don't think Zillow's gonna play conflict, but he's definitely gonna play brain power later. No. <laughs> so we'll get some brain, hopefully. Right. Yep. Uh, Pump it up is somewhat a clone of uh, Dance Dance Revolution, but the arrows are located differently. They're located like an X in diagonal shape when uh, Dance Dance Revolution has them up, down, left, right. So it can take a bit of time to get used to it. Usually we just right. play, treat them as different Lots. games and don't try to translate your skills. Just start a new, enjoy, enjoy it as a different game. Right. It's pretty crazy how just changing up the layout and just adding one more arrow is uh, can make for some very uh, interesting and crazy <laughs> patterns. Yeah. Yo. There is also something interesting going on in this step chart. You may notice the arrows oh, of course. Uh, were really, really squished for a bit of time. We call it a slowdown, and uh, Zillu can't really do anything about it because Pump It Up does not allow uh, constant speeds uh, like C mods. You only can use M mod when you uh, uh, set the uh, speed uh, to some general BPM, but it does not remove any visual effects, we call it gimmicks. So, yeah, for Pump It Up, we right. have to read both slow and fast. There's a lot of... Yep, <laughs> pump, re yeah, pump requires a lot of skills. Ooh. So, Zillow got an S. Let's talk a bit about grades in this game. Uh, 
S, uh, as you can see on the screen, Zillow got zero misses and one bet, and it's still an S. Uh, in Pop It Up, S means uh, not getting any misses, but you can get anything else. Uh, bets, good, great, perfect, obviously. Uh, it's not always true, but it's general rule. If you uh, only get uh, perfect and greats and no goods, no bets, you get a double S. It's a better grade. Means you did not make any major mistakes, just some slightly not accurate steps. And if you only press everything perfectly and get perfect, it will be triple S. Uh, there are also different gra grades below this. If you get one or several misses, it's usually an A. If you do not so bad, it's B, C, D, and if you did not do really well, it's F. There is no E grade in this game, funny enough. I don't know why they didn't like E letter. Right. That would have been that would have been pretty funny to see. But yeah, a little bit more about the grading system. Uh, you'll have like some colored grades, and then um, hopefully he won't get any like actual broken grades, as we like to call it. Um, it's they uh, they'll actually like visually indicate like they did. They look cracked. They look a little chipped, and broken. Um, that means you did not stage pass a chart, which means uh, in in this context, it's uh, your life bar went down completely. Um, at any time. Yeah, you can see a uh, bright rainbowy uh, stripe at the top of the screen. Uh, this is your life bar, actually. Uh, if you get some misses, it uh, will lose the color, will become just blue. And if you get more misses, it will become red, and then it will be blinking red when you drop it completely. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, look, look at him go with the spins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this. This is oh one of my the gosh. oldest songs in Pump It Up. It was introduced, what, second mix, I think? Wow, you're awesome. Yes. So, yes, and the step chart is uh, pretty old as well. Uh, the meta of uh, creating step charts changed over the years, which is natural. So, some patterns may feel very unusual to the players who start started recently. So, you saw uh, Zero right. got only one grade, it's double S. It's a pretty good score. Because the difficulty was growing from the first song, and this was level 21. We can only go higher yeah. from here. Oh, how crazy how this game first started out as a very freestyle heavy chart. Probably just like DER, and then it's just uh, very focused on speed now. Oh, how time changed. Yeah, I heard that in the very first games, uh, the step charts were made by professional dancers, so they can be danced right. to and not just like move your feet and not, not move your body too much. Well, I mean, we'll be seeing a little bit of dancing here now that he picked uh, King of Sales uh, by Norazo. You want to talk a bit sure. about the um, So this is, um, <laughs> first off, Pump It Up is very heavy on the K-pop. That's always been like the main, main thing for um, when it comes to licenses. Um, this is one of the... Uh, Norzo is a very funny Korean group. And um, this song is called King of Sales, and as the lyrics, as the title suggests, this lyric is actually about just being the best salesman possible. And if we see here, he's going down on his hands with like a, with those things. Um, it, it goes down on the on the lyrics uh, in Korean, also show, which means welcome. Like basically, if you walk into like a Korean business, that's what they say. They'll say, "Hey, welcome," and they they bow. So it's like when you go down and hit on the also show um, quads hands, um, it's kind of simulating like you just bowing to someone as if they're walking into uh, to your business. And if you play the double for this song, you have to stretch from one end oh, to the other right. diagonal end of the platform. I wonder what that was. I, was I think that to. is just the, the person who wrote who wrote that chart just wanting to be mean. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they like to add some tricks right. just to be mean. And you see some of these gimmicks just They're go also... crazy here. What a work of art. Really good it really and is. I like it. It's so funky and so cheerful. Usually, K-pop uh, in Pump uh, lately goes very slow and kind of sleepy, and a lot of it is very similar to each other. That's what's popular nowadays in right. the scene. Very, uh, very formulaic, like a lot of pop music. 
And there he goes, bowing. Oh. He did it. Yep. He's now he the best it. salesman. Way to go. As Pump It Up mostly targeted for uh, Asian side of the world and a bit of Latin America, there are not many licenses Next from stage. North America or Europe. Uh, there were some over the years, but uh, nowadays it's mostly uh, techno electronic music, uh, some Korean music, some Japanese music, K pop, stuff like this. And he was going up another level. It's 22 now. Oh, this one's a spicy chart. Yeah, it's a. Uh, Somewhat classical remix, it's a remix uh, from Phantom of the Opera, what is musical? Right, Maybe yeah. Musical? Pump It Up is known for a lot of uh, really, really good classic or just popular music Right, remixes. you'll see that it's credited to Banya production, uh, originally Banya. Um, they were Andamiro's in-house uh, originals band for the longest time. Unfortunately, they're not around anymore, like as a group. Uh, they have since moved on to other things, but... It's, 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 it's pretty cool, cool to still have a lot of their stuff in the game. It's like, um, you know, going back to DDR, uh, Konami having a lot of, like, Naoki originals in DDR. It's pretty much the same deal. Yeah, and in this step chart, you may notice uh, Dilo is moving around the pad a lot, even though he's still right. on one side. There are a lot of turns when you have to... Uh, move your body uh, in the way that it faces, not straight forward, but maybe to the side or even backwards. Uh, in Pump It Up, uh, there are a lot of ways to make the step chart difficult. You either can make it really fast, uh, have a super high BPM, like more than 200. Uh, you can make it very twisty, like this one. Uh, it also can be tricky, you can have to press more than one panel with one foot. We call it brackets. And there are just some long songs without breaks. When you go and you need right. stamina for this. So Pump It Up is pretty good uh, fitness training. You'll definitely get a heck of a cardio workout. That's for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. good cardio. And you may, no you may have noticed uh, in this section right before Zillow had to uh, press two panels with one right. feet at the same time. Now you can see he is uh, kind of, um, I wouldn't really say cheating those turns, but I mean, I get it, it's, it's really fast. And he has um, he has quite a, some uh, some more charts to do. He doesn't want to uh, tire himself for the possible uh, boss songs yeah. if we do reach those. Save, save right. energy. I heard a, I heard a good term for this. Not cheating, but manipulating the pattern. Oh, true. I think it was triple S. I was not looking at the screen. I think it, yeah, it was triple S. So only right. only two. Crazy. Oh, Dreamcatcher. This is a very popular uh, K-pop uh, group, especially what they license for Pump. Yeah, they call it K-pop, but in fact it's, it's like K-rock, really K-metal. It's funny how they call K-pop pretty much anything that's uh, popular in popular in music in Korea, but it can be any right. genre. <laughs> K-rock, K-rap, K-metal, right. K-techno. And here we have Good Night. I think this is the second Dreamcatcher license uh, that we ever got in Pump. I uh, guess. Yeah, the, uh, everyone just fell in love with this group. And they were fairly new uh, when have... they licensed it for Prime 2 as well. It's crazy. Yeah. We have like I five songs so. now. And they're still waiting for them. Of Everyone course. Maybe it. when the new game comes around, they'll license like five more songs from them. <laughs> so you may notice the harder the step chart gets, the more uh, techniques are crammed it into the same step chart. Like in this one, there are a lot of brackets, there are some turns that you will have to actually do because they are holes. And there is a small slowdown, there are fast runs. 
the higher you get in this game, uh, the more skill you need to learn. Especially if you are playing in a public arcade where uh, the pet may be not as well maintained as we have it at home. Right. Oh, you probably saw... Um, oh, you can go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say, since this game is uh, aimed for arcade, you may have noticed that Dilo uh, plays four songs and then he has to uh, re-log in and re-enter a credit. Uh, there is an, uh, somewhat an endless mode in Babata, but it does not save your score, so even when we play at home, we still somewhat enter right. our credits. Oh, and I just wanted to mention, like, you probably saw, like, those little weird, like, taps right before a hold. Uh, in Pump, you can actually hold down a hold, like, before they come up and it will still hit. Um, so that's just kind of a way to for people to force a hold on time, if that makes any sense. Yeah, in Pump It Up, uh, you don't have to press the holds on time. You can press them uh, in advance. That's different from Dance Dance Revolution. But sometimes step makers want want to force you to press the holes on time like for example when they do right. fast turns so you can't cheat them just by staying on the panels and then they place uh, additional right. steps in front of the holes sometimes you can see that sometimes you can it depends on how the step maker made the step chart and also right. on your node skin uh, by the way zillow is not playing on default node skin it's one of the cosmetics you can use in pump it up you can you have a uh, about what 20 node skins right. to pick from. Some of them origi originate from older games. Uh, some of them uh, have different special shapes like soccer balls, and those usually come from mission mode. Uh, Want to talk a bit about mission mode? Oh sure, yeah. Mission mode is uh, this game actually has missions for a dance game. It's crazy. It's uh, basically they give you like an objective, like uh, you should get like two goods or like an X number of grades, and they'll introduce like these special like items notes like you'll uh, like avoid these mines or they're like bombs or like in ddr like shock arrows and they all have like all these crazy items that's when they make that that's when they uh just, it gives like the team and his teeth to just go crazy yeah so if anyone gets bored with this game which is not so easy to achieve so if you get bored you can try missions and it's a different kind right. of challenge. Right, uh, you can play a mission that's, uh, that requires you to do some math. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Some missions right. are a thing. And meanwhile, Zero is playing a level 24. It's only two levels below the hardest symbol in this game, which is one. Yeah, this chart, uh, this chart is pretty nice. It's definitely like some of the hardest singles out there because it incorporates all sorts of tech like all together. Bracketing, jumps, pivoting. Uh, like twists and turns it's just it's a lot of notes yeah. <laughs> condensed into uh into just one lane oh yeah you, you can see zero has to hold the hold and press the panel with right. the same foot which is pretty tricky in pump it up holds uh keep uh getting you give, giving you uh, uh perfect or misses even uh, after you press them, not like in DDR, you let it go and you just lose one end and right. it's two steps. In Pump, the hold can give you a thousand combat like, in very short right. amount of time. It's one of the... Right, and he survived! That is definitely a very challenging part from... Uh, I guess a little bit about um, this song's artist and this song's... Uh, the person who wrote this chart for his... Uh, for this song, um, it's uh, this was written. Uh, the song was produced by Doen, a Korean producer, and uh, it was written. This chart, the single twenty four, was written by uh, Wind Force. Um, he was a um, long time like veteran player in Korea. He's been playing since like Extra, which was like two thousand. Um, he didn't start writing charts for the game until like NX Absolute, which was two thousand eight, and uh, he was actually like the only person um, for the longest time, like the only like I guess old veteran really just to just be in the in the current team uh he recently left uh i think like last year uh, so yeah and the yeah. song is and the song is composed by in-house composer right. doing and much. uh windforce is known for writing hard charts for uh doing's uh songs and uh they're both very good friends and i think they are working on a game together so 
excited to see how that goes. But in the meantime, it's time to pay some uh, Tetris. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't say that. Tetris. Another song by Doen. Yeah, it's a remix of one of the right. Tetris teams. I believe he will say it's an A team. But yeah, uh, now you can see that Zillow is holding both bars and he's gonna move on both sides of the platform. Right, this mode is called doubles. So, yeah. And he started at level 19. It's uh, like in the middle third. Right. He definitely picked uh, quite an interesting first the doubles chart to showcase for this uh, for this block. It's, this is a pretty tough <laughs> chart. So unlike unlike uh, DDR in Pump It Up, you have to be good in both singles and doubles if you want to be on leaderboards, if you want to take part right. in tournaments, and doubles usually even have uh, more accent on them because there are way more harder doubles than singles. So if you advance far away in the tournament, you will have right. to play more doubles. Well, you saw that uh, Zelo just did a spin there, it's a very cute spin. Uh, most <laughs> people will probably just like just double step that, just not worry about it, you know, just try to score better. But hey, if you want to be cute, spin away. I recommend doing a spin, it's fun. You gotta have fun with this game somehow. <laughs> well, you can have fun in different ways. Oh, there are plenty of different. There are plenty of ways to have fun with this game. And you may have noticed, Dill has to move from one side to the other really, right. really fast. There's a lot of like staircase-like patterns um, here too. Yeah, it's like piano. You have to from one side to the other side. And that was Tepris! Absolutely perfect! Emma, you'll see that the green the, the circle's color changes to green that indicates that it's a doubles mode. And it's another triple S. All perfect. Oh my pump it up dad needs to calm down. <laughs> Oh, now that is a very interesting cho <laughs> choice for a... <laughs> okay! Do you know that? Just like All the... Right. Just like the name says, it's, it's old school. <laughs> it's very old school. It's a very old song, and the step pattern oh. is a thing. Let's say the least. It is a cool. Uh, you may have noticed a lot of sudden movement, uh, jumps going straight right. into steps and some other weird things. A lot of uh, songs from older times were removed from the viewer games, like there is a rotation of licenses, just lots of interest. Uh, this is one of not so many original that, like, or charge is still left in the game, and when players who did not play older games encounter this one, they may be pretty shocked. Right. It's not what you'd expect normally from modern Yeah, it up. it's uh, definitely some pretty interesting charts, uh, especially since uh, this was from NX1, that was when they got really experimental uh, with, with a lot of the harder stuff. Yeah, so the next series, it was from 2006 to 2009, roughly. It was a time when they were trying to figure out how the step charting works, how the movement works. They were coming up with the finding right. the modern style of for step charting right. in this game, which they uh, finally came up with in Fiesta. It was after the next series right. in 2010. But uh, before then, they are right, and this uh, this chart uh, that he's playing right now was actually written by someone who mainly freestyles. So that I definitely brings some very interesting things. If you uh, get like people who mainly like choreograph like dance performances to write speed charts. So I see somebody in Next chat day. somewhat. Bad Joking apple. Is, there you go. Having <laughs> a request. <laughs> Well, sadly, we're not taking the requests for uh, this showcase because Zillow has a set specified set list. 
but for, the, for his last song, he's going to uh, attempt a very, very difficult level 27 posture, and you can uh, donate to pick which step chart he's gonna play. Uh, let's talk a bit about it right now. Uh, what are these? Yeah, do you want an names? update on how those I are doing? I probably don't say anything to anyone. So we have uh, yes, 1950 and vacuum cleaner tied at $50 each. Followed by error code zero oh, at like fifteen. That. So if you wanna break the tie, uh, oh. all it takes is one dollar. But yeah, go on in. Well, well, chat, you heard it. We just one more dollar to play any song. <laughs> so while all this are uh, labeled twenty-seven, there is still variation in actual difficulty. Vacuum cleaner is supposed to be like the easiest level 27 right. in the game and it's even though it's a remix so it's slightly longer than a normal song you would play it also takes three cards instead of two right. when you play the game error code is also a remix it's a uh, pretty much a mashup of many original doin songs uh, and it's pretty hard it's a relatively recent song it has a lot of modern techniques right. used in it. Uh, 1950 is not so old either, and it's actually a regular song, so it's the shortest one out of all three. I, I think I also like it musically most. It has like very engaging right. guitars and stuff. Pretty nice. Crazy how Vacuum Cleaner D27 was also our very first 27 numerically in the game. Well, I guess technically. Well, officially. The one we're not uh, talking about right. in school. Well, we're right. Mark, we're a mark. song that Zelo just played, Nakaka Pakba Baga Baga, I hope that I pronounced that right. Um, I, 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 yes, I, I promise you, the game is not glitching out or anything. It's just, that is how the chart is designed. It's just very, like, it's a, it's a bunch of stuff. It's, it's just the main gimmick for this song. <laughs> and you, you may have noticed uh, on the screen there is AV number, which is the speed mode he was using. And for this song, he had to set it to highest possible right. 999 to compensate for the remix. But what you see on the screen is what he see on the screen, all the stuttering and stuff. Ah, yes, well, uh, another uh, new K pop license in Double X. Hit by the group 17. Yeah, it's a very engaging song, and it's a good example how you can make difficult even relatively slow right. and chill Right, this song. is also a very uh, bracketing heavy. There are lots yes. of brackets in this one. Bracketing gets actually much harder on double because there are way more combinations and you have to process it right. on the fly. Pump it up, it's not only physically demanding game, it's also very brain demanding right. game. There's a, there's a huge mental aspect going on. Just processing all the, uh, all the notes, timing. And especially if you're playing it in a public arcade setting. I mean, he's playing at home, but like you know, having to deal with like crowd noises and everything, trying to trying to learn to, yeah, to block that out mentally. There are a lot of distractions, and the machine sound is not always right. the loudest. That's one of the bonuses having this at home. You can set sound to wherever you you want, as long as it doesn't right. bother your neighbors. <laughs> That's that always seems to be the main issue. Well. Gladly we don't have neighbors close by, so it's good. But yeah, always right. be considerate if you do stuff like this. Oh, there are the, some of the items that I mentioned earlier when we talked about missions. The um, the hearts, uh, they mainly gave like bonus. It's just acting like a bonus to your score. Um, they, yeah. Yeah, it, it's just fun visual gimmick. You don't have right. to do anything with them. Unless you do missions which we mentioned before, then you may need to. Step on them or avoid them depending right. on the mission. Yeah, the, the the hearts that spell out hit, that's just another like visual cute gimmick thing, just the chart being cute. A lot of the, a lot of the step chart artists for this game, they just like to artistically design their charts also. You know, just have a little fun. 
And then they are players too. You gotta they have are. fun with whatever you're doing. Yeah, in, in Pump It Up they require their step artists to actually physically play tail right. with step charts in the, and the mirror location. Otherwise it won't get approved. So most of them are really really top right. level players. And Dilo gets another triple S. We see a lot Lots of triple, of triple S's. S's. Speaking of, uh, you see that uh, data save in small window. Uh, you might have noticed at the top of that window and at the top of the screen when Zillow selects a song, uh, there is a field title and Zillo has a title specialist. So title is one of the uh, challenge systems in this game. Uh, you have to uh, do different tasks, sometimes they're skill related, sometimes they're number related, uh, sometimes it's something weird. And if you do that requirement, you get the cosmetic title, which you can display on your profile. It's different from mission, though, uh, because in missions, it's uh, more specific. For titles, you usually have to get uh, some number of grades on specific difficulty, or j just get specific grade on this select song. So it's somewhat less restrictive than right. missions, let's say so. Speaking of missions, he looks like he's about to play a Kari Wisata Double 22. This was originally a mission chart. Just with some revisions, yeah. I think, for Double X. Yeah, just minor revisions. Sometimes I like to go low effort ways and reuse right. the step charts from older games or from missions or just some fun project that step makers did before and then they just added a right. to the game. So oh, in this game there is a limited uh, capability for edits. You only can uh, use official step editor and only for select songs, not even the full track list. And obviously you can't add your own songs to this game. Uh, but a lot of step charts made by the official step makers as edits were later added to the game. So you can you can just make it rain in step chart or you can make something for fun if you don't like right. step chart, but most likely it will be just yours for fun. That is a pretty nice feature to have, just uh have people uh, let people like make their own custom charts. At least. Yeah. One of this custom step chart Dillo made actually became a mission because Korean players liked it so much. Alright, it did. That was a very fast chart. So, yeah, Dilo actually wanted to mention for this song, uh, there is a little fun story about the title. So, one of the composers went to visit the other composer, and that's how the song was made, and the title literally means Field Trip. So, it's a song about <laughs> Field Trip. Oh, that's an example of, uh, you can just hold down those holds, as mentioned before. Yeah. You just stay there, and you get your perfects pretty right. much for free, as long as you actually right. press the panels. It may be easy on a well-maintained pad, but sometimes in right. public arcades, faults become a task. Level 22. I remember when we just got the break at the style pad in my very right. old arcade. That's when I learned that faults are never rest anymore. Ooh, HTTP got some uh, pretty interesting uh, patterns here. Yeah, it's actually one of the contest songs, both the song and the character oh, in the it background. Was. Yeah. Yeah, Anamira likes to hold like these creator contests where anyone can submit like a song that they wrote or a character they design. Yeah, in the latest contest they actually have in right now, you also can submit a design for not skins. Yes. <laughs> that would be, that would be very interesting. So, uh, in this step chart, the maker somewhat tries to abuse the mechanic where you can hold the holes in advance, but it's 
very tricky visually and you have to look right. at the step chart in advance and figure out what's going on and how to position yourself. It's considered one of the hardest double 23s to right. it's master. Right, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very technical uh, 23 to say at least. And you saw that, like, if you potentially saw that, um, like that huge, like, 24th, like, stream, he kind of, like, bracketed some of those. Which is probably a good call, because trying to do that legit is, like, very fast. Yeah. I see a lot of people in the chat enjoying the music, and I want to say, you, if you have this game in arcades around you, or you have a friend with a cabinet, maybe, just give it a try. What Zillow is playing is not the easiest stuff, it's pretty hard already, and there's a lot of way easier stuff, so it's beginner-friendly, you can try it and just enjoy easy steps. Don't be afraid, it's fun. Agree, definitely give it a try. We all started somewhere. Of course. <laughs> I, remember, I remember I failed the six on my very first song. Our... <laughs> because it was, the, it was the song I really right. wanted to play. <laughs> yeah, our, I remember when anymore. I first uh, discovered Pump, I was actually in the search for a DDR cabinet in the area, and then I ran into a Pump It Up NX uh, cabinet at my local... Uh, Used to be a Jillian's, and it's now a Dave and Buster's. Um, good times. And um, I was like, oh, hey, it's Pump It Up. I'll give this a try. And it had a bunch of K-pop, and of course, my favorites, Banya's Beethoven virus. I'm like, okay, yep, I'm sold. <laughs> that's that's what you got me hooked up to the game right there. Funny enough, uh, me and my friend long time ago was so and market uh, listing for an ITG cabinet, and when we went to buy it, it turned out to be Pump It Up. <laughs> <laughs> we still bought it though, but it was funny. <laughs> they just used generic oh, picture. Oh, there we go. We just passed by Beethoven virus. <laughs> yeah, that step chart was added right. really recently just because the song is so popular, but it didn't have many difficult things. Well, it looks like he's about to play Danger and Danger by Cranky, who uh, oh. also made everyone's, every Rhythm Gamer's favorite song, Conflict. Which, right, which is Conflict also in is this great. game, but I I, uh, he's picking Danger Danger instead. Yep. Gotta have some variety. I need to start it's very heavy on, uh, on the pivoting, all the twisting and turning, so. Especially in the double setting, it's very fast. It's, uh, you gotta move that body. Yeah, Pump is known for having a lot of really, really complicated turns. And unlike DDR, right. most of the turns actually resolve. So you can trust the step maker, especially if it's right. a newer step chart or newer song. It... Even, even if you if it puts you in some right. new position where you face away from the screen, it will take you back. I think. Uh, I think so. Just uh, try not to double step <laughs> if you can, because you will probably get lost pretty easily. Yeah, you... You can notice Zillow is uh, doing right. some one minor 180s right in this part. Can I read off a few donations? Oh, of course! Sure, we got $20 from yeah, Rajalski55 who says, Love to let Zillow show off his astounding ability at Pump It Up. Thanks everyone who came together to put on this event, trans rights. All right, we also got $15 from Kara, who says, Trans rights. This goes towards Nick's Klonoa 2, all visions incentive. Which reminds me, we do have a new incentive to upgrade the Klonoa 2 run later tonight to an all visions run. And then finally, we have $20 from Ryu with no comment. And let me see where that puts us on the boss level chart bid war. That puts us with... 1950 with $70. Vacuum cleaner very close behind though at 65. And error code zero now at 35. Wow. So really any of them still snipeable. Yeah, it all can change. You, uh, Whenever you follow the bid wars, things can happen like right. the very last second. <laughs> Zilla said he, uh, he's gonna cut off at about 50 55 minutes. So you got. What, yeah, 10 minutes a little over delay. 10 minutes. If you have specific preference. Next stage. Yeah, definitely get those donations in.
Always go good to the yep. for the break calls. Okay, Zilla's going up another level. It's level 24 out of 28 total in this game. And it's composed by our favorite math professor. <laughs> yes, DM Ashura. I think the DM stands for Digital Maestro, yeah. but I like to call him the uh, the, the, yeah. the, the, the devious mathematician. <laughs> He's actually an American... But he composed some original right. tunes for this game, and they also licensed some of his right. older stuff. Right. Vincent, I thought you yeah, called him yeah, DM well, McPickles. That, that's a special name. <laughs> that's uh, that's reserved. <laughs> Anyways, since he's a math professor, uh, a lot of the song names for his compositions uh, include some math theories or math oh jokes. Oh my gosh! Yes. And you can. Yeah, you can you can Google up uh, what Annihilator me right. method means. I remember when the song first was revealed in Pump It Up Prime as a new song. Everyone was looking for like, all right, I gotta look, look up like charts for this song if they don't want to broken my numbers. And then like, I remember just seeing all the comments like, what the heck? All of these are math videos. <laughs> well, this video no. is not quite math. It's actually about huge tragedy. It's about. Uh, the big disaster that happened right. to Chernobyl in the 80s. Yeah, some of these background, many of these background videos actually have quite a story and backstory to them, unlike a lot of the um, the very first few games where the background videos were just uh, very random. Yeah, some of them are fun, some of them are cute, and some can right. be very depressing. But we won't talk about this. Let's right. talk about positive stuff. I think this was DM Shore's first. Uh, Hand into making like a free form region. hard song. He's immediately uh, made a lot of like rave, mid tempo stuff. That's interesting. Well, I mean, I guess there's Ignis Fatus yes. as well, but I mean, this one was where he really wanted to try to take a different direction here. Yeah, but Ignis is also a remix of a right. already fast song, so. <laughs> yeah, this is original. Aside from that remix, I think it's the first original that game. I made think the game. so. At least it, yeah, it's at least one really of his first originals. It is. It's a banger. Wow, this chart requires a lot of stamina, though. Yeah, it's also considered uh, one of the mid boss songs, so it doesn't have a very right. easy step charts. Most of it is pretty hard, so yeah, you, you can have see to that, work. like at the very at but the very end, he had to move like transition across the path like really fast, and that's not easy. Yeah, to do. I knew you could do it. yeah so uh, BPM, which stands for beats per minute, is what yes. 192 for this one. It's pretty fast. You have what uh, about more, more than 10 uh, steps per second? Right. I forgot the math on this. I think that sounds about right. But you have to move so you gotta go fast in this game. <laughs> and the higher that number of BPM, the faster right. you have to go. So this was second to last credit, and now Zillow is starting to last think credit, so. I think. Oh dear, these are some... Uh... A very, <laughs> very choices. There's a very yeah, choice. <laughs> I just want to say for the next song, if you know the lyrics in that one part, please spam them in chat. Yeah, that's gonna be one yes. meme for the show. <laughs> please case. do, we'd love to see it. You are allowed to meme, let's go. Oh yeah. And the background for for Pump It Up was made for this, for this game. Yeah. You can see <laughs> for the killer they machine, show they pump show it up Pump machine. It Up. It's really funny. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's so neat. Here we go. Brain power. Are you ready? And this step chart requires a lot of brain power. 
wide, yeah, of course. There are a lot of brackets, a lot of really wide turns, hard, hard to perform, and also a lot of stuttering when your arrows right. just jump up and down, up and down really, really fast. Right, especially when it comes to the chorus, it, that's, that's just when the chart goes nuts. Yeah, it's pretty hard to read. So, get all the brain power you have. Pump, does it pump to add adrenaline. Yeah, get the lyrics ready for the chorus. We're gonna spam the chat. We get <laughs> I know, I'm ready. Good, I'll copy past from you. I don't have a candy. Uh, it's very interesting that this song was originally, I think, like a contest song from Sound Voltex, and then exclusivity yeah, ended, yeah. and then uh, it's now in every game. Good. <laughs> what is it in every game? I think they just didn't want to realize that it was one game exclusively and instead right. put it everywhere else. Yep. You'd probably make way more profit doing that. Yep. Now oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like to see when play brain power is being played. Very appropriate response. Look, you'll see he has those a very fast uh, double step jack there too. Yeah. Oh. So, so when you see uh, two nodes on the same panel, one after another, we call it jacks. You have to. Uh, let the panel go and press it again really fast. Right. It's not easy, especially if you're losing balance when you come from the fast turn, or if your feet, uh, like your legs, are not so... Right. So good. Next stage. If you play, like, if you play this game in bad shoes, or if you do a lot of playing with, without holding the bar, you can get knee pains later. So, be careful how you're playing. Choose your shoes wisely. Shoes are very important for these games. But if your knees get damaged, it's getting harder to do the jacks. Right. Take care of your knees. Just hold on to your knees. Take your vitamins. Don't forget to hydrate. Always <laughs> hydrate when you play of this course. game. And this is Just Hold On to All Fighters by Void. It's another Japanese composer. Right, Prime definitely introduced a lot of uh, Japanese producers since uh, that was when uh, Anmiro tried to tap into the Japanese market for uh, for pump. Yeah, sadly uh, it already had DDR, so it didn't yeah, it become didn't... too too popular. It was kind of too uh, not. It was uh, they were kind of late on the timing to introduce that. But at least we got a lot of good music out of it. We got a lot of bangers coming out of it, of course, <laughs> including Bad Apple. Yes, that's <laughs> the most important one. We're starting off with a lot of brackets. So this one is very, uh, just a lot of thrills, which is just like, it's just a, a stream of just two notes. Yeah, the song itself is not the fastest, it's only 175, but it has a lot of streams that just go non-stop and it also has a lot of bracket movement around the pad. Right, you definitely need a lot of stamina for this one. Yeah. It's not the easiest 25 if you don't have seven, but if right. you do, it may be one of the easiest. Right, I see someone saying our bid war is so close, so if, um, if we want to go into uh, donations, I think that was a good time. And for people to go ahead and donate. Yes, we only got like two more minutes. Right. So do it like, now. No donations for some now, but yeah, like I said, uh, last chance to snipe the bid war. Uh, 1950 still in the lead by $5. What happens if they tie? Will it go uh, to their honor? Of his choice? If they tie, we... <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll flip a coin. No, I'll, I'll ask stuff. Oh, okay. And we'll make <laughs> oh. a decision. <laughs> a decision will be made by someone. Well, we'll, we already voted in advance. We all are for 1950. <laughs> Just because we love the song most. It's a good guitar song. We need more we guitars in this game. Also, Zilla is doing really good. He's keeping the combo in this 
very dense run. Yeah, this really, is really fast. This is very. It's a Ooh, very nice. intensive charge. Yeah, it's. It's not easy to keep the combo in that part and Absolutely not. Oh, so close. Only only just couple misses in the last bracket part. Right. That was very good second half of the song. Like very Six solid. misses? Oh my goodness. Wow. That's and insane. It, you can also see uh it's the best score he got uh, on this profile. Oh. Best Personal score he, best. He, he got recently, yeah. Personal I, best, let's go. I think the uh, machine best is on rank, so it could be his personal best, like actual personal best. Right. And, and when you get up score, you can see a blue number appearing, which right. shows how, my, how many points you got over your previous best score. I'm actually a little bit ahead right now on time, so I'm actually going to add one extra song before we close the bid war off. So I'm going to pick one more. So you'll have one last song, get your donations in for the bid war if y'all want. Ooh, one more song. Unknown song. I don't know what it's gonna be. Is he gonna pick Beethoven virus? Wow. Conflict, let's go. Conch, yes. <laughs> no. Nineteen forty-nine. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's All right. Fine. That's a cool one. Now, it's another contest song. <laughs> and it's very, very interesting music for Pump It Up. You don't always hear this waltz type of music. Right. A lot of piano. I'm, I forgot if it was this one or not, but the composer said they did not expect to be anything hard to be made for this one and when they saw the step chart they were really surprised by the difficulty. Right. <laughs> yeah, I remember it was hit, it was uh, the composer and the step artist who wrote this uh, this chart where uh, they were having a live stream just talking about Pump for the Korean crowd and he mentioned that and Windforce, uh, the person who wrote this chart, was like, oh yeah, my bad, oops. Yeah, I think it, I think it, it was when I saw that reply in that stream. Yeah, this has a lot of like smaller runs, but they're very dense and very fast. The BPM for this song is also very high. What is it? Like, right. 260? What is it? Like 240, 260? It, it's, it's fast. Yeah, it's way, way above 230, which is like already considered very fast. Right. Though most of the notes here are not 16, they're like 8s or 12s. Uh, you still get those small, smaller runs and you also get brackets and other difficult stuff to do. That's a very difficult one. Ooh, I think those you'll... bracket... Oh, those bracket jacks. Yeah, I think you'll oh. drop the halt and the life bar could have been to zero. We may see the broken grade actually, oh. because of that halt. So yeah. You, you saw what happens if you don't hold the hold, if you don't, like, do it like you mean it. Hello? Very good ending. That's just, wow, he just nailed that stair run. Yeah, that's a lot of fast movement. Yeah, Alright, let's divert it. Oh, there's our broken, uh, there's our first broken grade. Yeah, you can see the, the grade is... Uh, gray, it's broken, and the sound is also distorted. And the sound is also distorted, it's, yeah. It started normally, and then it just laughs at you, and Next it could be humiliating if you do it in arcade. Right. I think that's why so many people switched their attention from uh, getting better scores to just getting colored grades and stage passing. Right. All right, I'm going to do one more refresh. All right. I'm All right. One more refresh. Yes, All right. it is that time. <laughs> Looks like our winner is... Let's go. Let's 1950 go. with seventy dollars. Oh, the man. vacuum cleaner is sixty-five. Hooray. So the winner is nineteen fifty. And and oh, Z Zulu actually went out of the credit. I was about to say it's good because he only had, had two hearts left. <laughs> well, at least nineteen fifty is the shortest song, so I'll die the fastest. So let's see what happens. So thank y'all for donating. Chat, let's give the runner all the energy. It's a really hard song. Good luck.
Oh, here we go. We're about to see a chart that I would like to describe as it's a bunch of arrows on a screen. Yeah, one of the tech makers described making Spider Chart somewhat like. You have to make it as much nonsense as you can while still following the music in the song. Right. And uh, this chart was revised too, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was made slightly easier, just, just a tiny bit. Just a tad bit. It's like, okay, alright. And him getting hydrated? Yes. That's important, stay hydrated. Dill will need all that energy. Of course he will. This is one of the songs where you don't get many breaks. Usually in Pump It Up, uh, the step charts constructed like you have a intro, then you have further part, then you have some break, probably sending on the whole, so just doing some very easy stuff. Then you have another hard part, maybe another break, another hard part. But in this one, the breaks are very small, and right. the hard parts are just switching with other hard parts, but less hard parts. It's a sound uh, of hard. Let's go. Oh dear. This is a dark song too. Look at the video. It's it's like crosses, and you'll see like the, the Grim Reaper in a bit. Yeah, and a lot of great skeletons. Right. Just what you want from your boss song. Lots of guitars, dark background. Which is also good because it doesn't blind you when you play. Right. And a step chart that that's gonna wear you down a lot. Oh, uh, look at that jump bracket mess. Well, there's like the only break that he gets. Yeah, the only in the, break in the pretty song. Much. Yeah. Yeah, this chart just gets. Well, I was gonna mention that gets crazy, crazy in the end, but um, wow, that <laughs> that um, that mash. As I said, hard parts are just smashed with even harder parts. Right, it's just it's, <laughs> there is nothing easy about this. He's almost there. He just has that final uh, few measures of um, notes <laughs> to go through. Yep, there we go. Ah, uh, he was almost there <laughs> to uh, the stage pass. It's a really hard chart to stage pass. How many people stage pass? Yeah, like, in the world. Yeah, it's very complex at the end. What you see is not what you have to pass. Right. Still a very good run. And it's just second to the hardest difficult. Next right. Great job. Great job to the runner. Yeah, definitely a nice effort. All right, as you can probably expect from seeing that, I'm very tired and need to go throw myself into a shower after this. But thank y'all for donating. Thank y'all for donating for the showcase to even happen. Thank y'all, all staff, everyone volunteering. Thank you for having me. It's always great to showcase this game, especially for such a great cause. Like we know there's been a lot of trans right bills being pushed through that are really concerning, especially here in my home state of Texas. So we want to do everything we can to help everyone out because we just want everybody to like be able to live free and be happy. So absolutely, trans rights are human rights. 100%. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Y'all have anything else y'all want to say before we sign off? That would be it, I guess. Good job. Uh, that, good job. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for having uh, us as for talk to commentate and definitely donate. 
Yes, thank y'all again for having us. I uh, hope you have a good rest of the marathon while I throw myself in the shower. <laughs> but y'all have a great rest of the day. And definitely stay tuned for all the many, many amazing coming runs. So thank y'all, everyone.